For 4,000 years, humanity has seen diverse religious cultures blossom. However, when different religious sects appeared and believed in different gods, religion turned into hatred. Bishop Yunnan was born as a Palestinian refugee in Jerusalem. Jerusalem, the tinder box of the Middle East. As an Arab Christian walking the path of a clergy, he dreamed of a peaceful world without religious conflict. We have to discuss in interfaith dialogue about Jerusalem. How can Jerusalem be uh, the center of justice and peace? Is to speak how Jerusalem can be for five elements, Jewish, Christian, Muslim, Palestinian, and Israelis. It's a very complicated city. It's a holy place for three main Abrahamic uh, religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Bishop Yunnan has played a tremendous role in building bridges between these faith communities in Jerusalem. Here in Jerusalem, due to the, the current, current situation that we have, it's not easy to build bridges. Jerusalem is called the City of Peace, but its history has been far from peaceful. Bishop Yunnan has dedicated himself to bringing religious harmony to this land, where religious division and dispute has endured. The first, I think, with the speech of uh, Bishop Monim is the clarity in his words and speech and message. The human being is first. All Christians in the world, all Jews in the world, all Muslims in the world, and his voice helped open the eyes of many churches in the world to see that something is wrong in this holy land, which is the center of religious life. Uh, he is very engaged in uh, dialogue, in all kinds of dialogue, uh, to talk from his Palestinian position with European Christians, and he is very engaged uh, to talk with uh, Christians from, from other denominations, Roman Catholics and uh, Orthodox uh, Christians, uh, and he is engaged in a Jewish-Christian dialogue. And Bishop Yunnan is one of the few Palestinian religious leaders who is truly respected within Jewish circles. And in 2002, amidst a lot of violence taking place here between Israelis and Palestinians, for the first time ever, the religious leaders of Christianity, Islam and Judaism were convened together. And the key Christian personalities were Patriarch Michel Sabach, the Catholic Patriarch, and Bishop Munib Yunnan, who was then Lutheran Bishop of Jerusalem. That stage then led to the creation of the Council of the Religious Institutions of the Holy Land. His commitment really um, kept it together and ensured through his own credibility with all the sides. What we have done is very important. The first thing, the first thing is, you know, uh, we have monitored what rabbis, imams, and clergy depict the other in their speeches because I think, you know, in this country, rabbis, imams, and clergy are listened to. And whatever they say, people listen to them. The council analyzed the textbooks of Palestine and Israel in order to widen the horizon of understanding between religions. Education today is the only transformative power. If education does not give an objective view of the other who is different, then there is no wonder that there will be white supremacy. And there is no wonder that there will be anti-Semitism and there will be Islamophobia and Islamo-Christianophobia. <laughs> علاقة أخوية كبيرة جدا ورجل لا يعتبر نفسه رجل دين مسيحي 
ولا أنا أعتبر نفسي رجل دين إسلامي نحن للشباب المسيحي وللإسلامي كما لم يفرق بين مسلم ومسيحي With the conviction that education holds the key to the children's future, Bishop Yunan opened a school in the Islamic town. The main idea here in this project, um, mutual understanding religions here with uh, um, Muslims and uh, Christians. Uh, live together in peace here, uh, and there is a, a good future. There is a hope in future. We as religious people, we have always, you know, to give a vision for peace. My identity cannot be completed, cannot be in its fullness unless it serves God and the neighbor. Bishop Yunnan continues to pray for peace in the lowliest place.